All right, welcome back to the set of Can We Build a House in Costa Rica in 90 Days or Less. Now, we have finally got our lot done and it looks great. We have our bodega done and that's extremely important. But now we are finally beginning to build our house and that's exciting. Which brings up the next question. Now, this is a very, very important question. When building your house in Costa Rica, what do you think is the number one most important thing about your entire house build? Okay, number one, is it the actual roof? Because you know the roof supports or actually protects your entire house from the elements, from the rain, and it protects the walls and everything underneath it. So is the roof the most important thing, number one? Or is it number two, the walls? Because you know the walls, kind of hold up the roof and gives it some of its strength? Or is it number three, which is something you really just don't see in almost every house? And well, that's the foundation, okay? Or is it number four, how big and how pretty your house is so you can keep up with the Joneses? Well, the answer to that question is so, so important that if you miss it, you could kiss your entire investment goodbye. But before I answer that question, hey, don't forget, we're giving away a three-day Costa Rican vacation. So watch now to find out how you can qualify to win. I am giving away a three-day Costa Rican adventure just for watching videos on my channel and learning about Costa Rica and the off-grid homestead. Subscribe now, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out and watch till the end and I'll explain how you can qualify to win. So that is going to be an awesome vacation for somebody. So make sure that you do what you got to do to qualify to win that vacation. But back to what we're doing and back to that extremely important question. What is the most important aspect of your house? What did you answer in the comment? Was it one, the roof, two, the walls, three, the actual foundation, or four, how big and how pretty your house is? But before I answer that question, let's talk about what we're actually doing here. And you want to make sure to watch to the end to find out if you got the answer to that question correct. But like I said, it is so important that if you miss it, you can kiss your entire investment goodbye. So as you can see, what we're getting ready to do is we're getting ready to pour cement for our foundation. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're like, Alan, this don't look nothing like the foundation that I poured on my house in the United States or Canada. And you know what? You're right. Because when in the houses that I built in the United States, well, what we normally would do is just like we've done here, we've measured everything out, we pop a line, and we know where the house is going to be. Then the crew comes in and they start digging out footings, and the footings are going to follow the entire perimeter of the house. Not only will it follow the perimeter of the house, but it's going to go through the center of the house and anywhere where there's some low bearing walls, they're going to dig those footings. Those footings are going to be anywhere from 12 to 24 inches deep, 12 to 24 inches wide, and they're going to be filled with these rebar cages or rebar support systems in all of those footings. And Anywhere where the floor is going to be at, there's going to be cement wire, and all of that stuff is going to be tied together. The cement truck's going to come in. There's going to be a cement crew. They're going to pour that cement, and that crew's going to be pushing that cement all over the place. And when it's done, you're going to have one huge, solid cement foundation that then you'll be able to start building the house on. And at that point, they start putting up the walls, putting up the roof, and getting it in the dry. That's normally what you would see in the United States or Canada. But here in Costa Rica, I've never seen them build a single house with that type of foundation. Every house built that I've seen has been like this. So let me explain to you what's actually happened. In most places in Costa Rica, they end up pouring this foundation or a foundation support system, which then supports the columns, okay? Costa Rica is a totally different terrain, and with it being mountainous and just its topography, they normally will pour a foundation support system that supports 
actual columns and the columns themselves are what actually supports the entire infrastructure of the house. So let me explain step by step what we've done here. So first off, your architect designs the house. And then depending on how large that house is, uh, the topography of the terrain, he's then going to also design the structure for your house that's going to support everything. And depending on how big your house is will depend on how deep your foundation will be. In this scenario, our house is two, possibly three stories tall. And so we need a very strong foundation that's going to support that weight. Now, let me explain step by step what we've done. Now that we've gotten the designs from the architect, well, we've come in with the excavator and we've dug out the holes to the proper size and the proper place. And they put in about a foot to two foot of rock and gravel. And that rock and gravel is gonna create a bed because we don't want all of this metal to be sitting on top of clay. That would be soft. So we build a bed down here. We put in several bags of cement and then we bring in the compactor. That compactor comes in and we compact the whole bed. Now, once it's compacted, we allow the rain or a water hose and we wet down everything so that the cement that's in that gravel tightens up the gravel. Now we got this good solid foundation, like I said, that's at least 12 inches deep and compacted, which is gonna support this whole metal infrastructure that we have right here. Once we have that bed built, then we get all of the rebar and all of the metal that our team has bent for our foundation. They start putting it all together. And as you can see, there are hundreds and thousands of actual ties where they've had to design all of this from metal rebar that they've been bending for days. Now, they put all of this together and this whole infrastructure, before they put it down, they end up having to put concrete at the very bottom or concrete blocks that is going to keep this whole metal infrastructure off of the ground so that when they pour cement, cement goes underneath the entire infrastructure and it's gonna come up at least a couple of inches above that rebar. So you're gonna have a couple of inches of cement underneath, a couple above it and around it. As you can see, we actually have a little form here so that we don't waste cement because we don't need it to go on the outside of the hole where it's too large. So now we have a good solid cement foundation that's gonna be a few inches above the actual rebar cage that you see here. Now, this is the actual column, but before we pour that cement, we'll have some wooden forms that's gonna go around the column so that when they pour the cement, obviously all that cement stays in here. The first step is to actually get cement up to a couple of inches above our metal rebar. Wrong, that it's immovable because it's tied into the bottom of this cement rebar infrastructure. Once the cement for the main rebar infrastructure is dry and they fill these holes up with dirt and everything is level, then they'll come in and pour the actual columns, which we'll talk about in another video. But that's how you go about building the right infrastructure or the right foundation for your house. Some of you are thinking, well, why is it this is so large? And that's because the house, depending on the size of it, is so huge, we need all of this rebar, which is going to diffuse or disperse and handle the weight instead of all of the weight being in just one small area. All of that is dispersed throughout all of this metal. This cement that's going to be under the ground is what's really supporting your whole house. So if you haven't figured it out by now. But wait, before I give you the correct answer, let's find out how you can qualify to win this three day vacation. Okay, don't forget. There are four things you need to do in order to qualify to win that Costa Rican vacation. First, subscribe and hit that notification bell. This way you will not miss out on future videos. Second, click the like button. Literally, it only takes two seconds. Do it right now. These two simple tasks sends a signal to YouTube's algorithm that you like these videos and they'll begin to show these videos with other people so I can help them learn too. Third, comment. Let me know if you've learned something, what else you would like to learn. 
I read every single comment and I try to reply to as many as possible. And fourth, share this video. Just below the video is a share button and you never know who you'll be helping or whose life you'll change for the better because you took a few seconds to share it on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest. Heck, share it on all your social media profiles. The correct answer is three. The foundation is the most important aspect of your entire house build. Matter of fact, it's so important that the Bible that was written thousands of years ago actually talks about making sure that your house is built on a solid foundation. And in Costa Rica, it is extremely important because unfortunately, I've heard the horror stories and I'll show you some examples of houses that weren't built on a solid foundation and most of them have this tiny, tiny foundation. So it's really, really important that you do have the right team to build your foundation. All this sounds overwhelming to you? No problem. Schedule your free 20-minute phone consultation so that one of our professionals can guide you and lead you, making sure that whenever you invest in Costa Rica, you're not kissing your investment goodbye because you got the wrong builder to build your house.